eat your fruit again, says Jesus to a fig tree in today's gospel from Mark. This is after he approached the, the tree and found nothing but leaves. But don't you think Jesus was a little too harsh on that poor, barren fig tree? Because come on, figs were not even in season yet. For Jesus to be cursing the tree just seems to be, pardon the pun, fruitless. But it's not about the fig tree itself. Instead, this action symbolizes what Jesus has found in reality. In preaching the good news of salvation to the people of Israel, Jesus found only barren desert, an inhospitable environment with, with a people unwilling to accept his teaching. Therefore, they were unable to produce fruit for the kingdom. So as Israel is doomed to wither and die unless it repents, so is this fig tree. We in turn must repent and, in, and turn from the sins that are preventing us from living fully for Christ. Jesus knows we're imperfect humans. You know, we have our weaknesses and temptations. But it's up to us to rely on Jesus for the strength and wisdom to navigate what comes our way. In other words, we must stay rooted in Christ. And just as the fig tree gave the false and deceptive appearance of fruitfulness, which is the essence of hypocrisy, we, on the other hand, are called to be truthful in our ways. Our actions are a reflection on our faith. And reflecting the truth in our actions is part of being a good witness. So let's work on being that fig tree with character instead of fluff. The season is now. What are we waiting for? Let's start bearing fruit. When will the season come to be reconciled with that friend or family member that you had a terrible fight with? When will the season come to support that charity whose work we have long admired? When will the season come to be part of that program at the parish to which we could really make a positive contribution? What Jesus is telling us here is that unless we realize the fruit of our own fig trees, we will wither and die. Now is the season of the harvest. It's the time to move mountains. So may we realize the harvest of our own vineyard in this season of our lives. And may the seed of God's word that he has planted in our hearts and in our souls be the root of reconciliation, justice, and mercy. A life without love and virtues is really nothing but a tree without fruit. Thank you for joining us for the celebration of the Mass today. It's a blessing that you are with us. Every broadcast of this liturgy goes out to hundreds of people and hundreds of people all over the world. It's been an enormous blessing. If you'd like to support this virtual ministry of OLPH, please go to our website. You can support this ministry by going to Give Central so that we can continue to broadcast the liturgy each and every week. Thank you for your support. Most of all, thank you for joining us today. God bless you. Greetings from OLPH.